What's good, y'all? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be doing some... Let's have a look. I've been saying that a lot lately. Because it's true. We're going to be reacting to the Fortnite World Cup Week 6 highlights for NA West. Now, I've been following the, the this whole tourney for like a minute. I'll, I'll be watching streams and stuff. Shit, shit is getting getting pretty ridiculous. Last night, uh, S2J, I think his name is, uh, qualified to go to uh, New York. So shout out to him. Good luck. Um, but yeah, let's just let's get into these highlights and see what type of crazy shit we see. Have E11 Vic, which is actually the Ethan A. Nigga, wait a Bumble, fucking so minute. Figured that one out. Oh, is that who yeah, it was? Not, not playing with himself uh, there. Oh, he not Nick, Nick Merch. Does get knocked by Rux on that rotation. That's why I watch okay, mostly okay, so, Nick Merch on uh. Yeah, on for Twitch. a second they were stumped yesterday. Wasn't quite sure who your teammate was, Vicaro. So you know, would help us if you, on the cusp of. Double qualifying? Yeah, qualify? and I mean, Ty Tanks and Thomas, we've seen yeah. them come so close, and it's always been a late surge. And so, what happens if they get the ball rolling early as Neo gets taken advantage of their not paying attention? Oh, yeah, right that's 2J right there. There we go. With that uncommon tactical shotgun there as he gets pushed down while Ty Tanks is on the lower ground. So, a little bit of split between the two of them, but not necessarily stressing it now. However, they are out of all these leg game situations are insane. Gets QV right there on the rotation and smartly boxes him up so he doesn't get pressured, is able to get those mats and continue working forward. The congestion to die down. Got to be careful here, but Aiden goes and pushes through Moni. We saw Aiden was so Moni close. Yesterday. He came inside. He had a good day yesterday, yesterday. but Aiden's going to make quick work of him right there as Sean is still alive in this game as well. See the traps coming down Ooh, now. Shot. Nice shot on Rich Homie Quinn. We haven't seen a lot of lately, but Rich Homie Quinn was someone else who was, was on the scene for a little bit inside of it so he got those first three points next one is top 10 for an additional two top five grand two total of seven and the top duo gets 10 as aiden continues to work top down for their seventh jose jimenez and vicaros confirms that one so another point going over for avin clark as the ghost duo continues to sweep along picking up jay as tide tanks also gets little so that duo is now eliminated now, I, don't, I don't know how you guys feel about guys. Fortnite What's he right do now. Here as the shots are coming but, from up above. But he is now how you guys feel about the, the new season. So let me know down zone, in the comments. Some mistake, catch the but the season kind of trash. I'm not going to lie. But when it comes right, to competitive, like, I, I love competitive him, stuff. So, like, competitive Fortnite is, like, something I enjoy watching. Sean is also a new two. Gets sent back. Guess they should have developed him better. Not um, well enough evolved, needed a better move. Aiden, but this competitive Fortnite in general is way is better than that's than, enough than of normal. those references there. Now, as Aiden <laughs> gets pushed in the box and taken down by Shao Nix, and he gets the confirmation mm. going to leave Avin Clark there as the ghost duo is eliminated. So it is a straight up. 1v1 Ty Tanks versus Shionix. Shionix on the low ground with that drum gun trying to pressure, but Ty drops down. He's the one pressing the pace, loses the high ground, and loses zone control. Misses the first Ooh, shot. Oh, good shot. Shionix, a great effort, but Ty Tanks and Tomas. There's traps down there, so they actually can't even fully commit to get this Elam right now. They have no materials. That's right. Actually, are very limited materials, so they actually catch Lego sucks right there. As that's gonna be a big, big Elam for them because that's also all if you guys didn't hear Tifu right just and left phase. To go. Epic Whales He's duo does him. get burned down right there, so that's so all that's shield. pretty tough. However, that's when you a big loss right there. City, you are gonna get a little bit of that spotlight. So go ahead, but I'm sure it'll all get figured we'll out. We'll talk about you a little more, and maybe we should stop I hope talking no as you get down there and a either. little bit of a caster curse. Someone to look out for. Ronin on 60 hertz. We saw him yesterday as well. Yep, and the AU boys also in this lobby. So a ton of players we've seen before, and a great angle from Glory on that cone edit as well. I'm not sure if that's his edit, but if it is, that it was brilliant to be able to give an angle there. Tries to drop the grenade down, not able to find it as Sofa does confirm his Elam. I mean, we're not even at that first placement threshold. Now he's gonna try and do it again. One, two, three grenades, and the revive's going off right next to him. You can see the outline. Mm, he got damn. That salvo and Ronin drop, and a great. He tried to play. go for that res. Glory, who is solo right Costed now. Him. Rune gear has been taken out. 
pretty much always around that top 20, top 30. So definitely a dude to keep an eye on. But uh, Epic Whale tries to get the edit down, has the ramp, and the trap Ooh. does confirm. AK Wafina, you're no longer live. You can turn that one off and go queue back up. Doing everything you can to try and confirm How many shadow bomb men in his box? Top 15. So everyone receiving those first three placement points as Lozman picks up Heisted and Whale looks for a brief moment of respite as the carnage is going If you guys don't enjoy videos like this, let me know down in the comments. But I'm just trying something different because this is like, you know, something I like to like watch in my free time. Move. Okay, like so he's actually rotating like the competitive out now. Scene. Casey gets traded out by Lunatic, and Epic Will's going for the high ground. He's on that mid layer now. Lunatic and Whack, what are they going to do? They recognize, but Epic gets chunked down here, Sundown. Mm. Oh, Lunatic traded it right back from the left hand. That was brilliant, but now it's Lozman with the stinks trying to force these guys to move. They better start going. And he also only has the there seven kills. Go. Shot him in the foot for 61 or something like that? That was actually solid. And he still has one more stink. So what he's doing with these stinks is forcing them apart. He's trying to isolate one of them into a 1v1. He knows he has the 60 tick. And more importantly, he should know now that he has the health advantage. Advantage, but it's going Ooh. over the top of the mountain means he has to go up no builds left lunatic puts an end to that one good effort but 17 points going over Are we back? And, and just kind of reflecting on the day just as a whole man this week six has been a jam-packed one as far as the the story uh, and the, the things that have unfolded really has been kind of crazy bears here catch anxiety okay I, I'm, I'm assuming no that's just off by a little though. bit Gonna relieve For him like and lift the casters. on Twitch. Is gonna opt to disengage here shortly as a lot of players are in the area. Doesn't want to be stuck on top of that cone and picks up Wazy right as he's going through. His teammate also gets taken down. So instant there as your dad on toast gets picked up. That's not That's nice. a double tick right there for these stinkers. Six stinkers. Six mats, your typical one by one and then fine, we'll toss a seven, toss one pyramid in there somewhere, right? Like you can make that every single time off of a shadow bomb by just getting to a smart position as you see now storm is trying to do him and mm. Pearl have been reset but takes advantage of gunfly who tries to go for a cheeky trap play and storm says i'm not even in your box yeah and then gunfly thought because he kind of backed him off for a second there he was going to charge with that minigun but real quick from storm right here as he connects with the infantry rifle that was with one infantry rifle shot and then three combat shots before harmful the combat shotgun is so that broken is from i was in tifu stream yesterday a man hit a dude across the map for four he was obviously weak but he hit him like extreme like a ridiculous uh like like like, like far away ridiculously far away bro and that nigga hit him for four and he died i was like dude why does that shit hit so far the players prioritizing now, as him and Storm move over. Like, if you can hit your shots with that gun, that gun is good. With a great angle on the spirit. And it's just long range combat shot right there, right? The perfect spot to be in, catching them right through the through the little nooks right there. Yep, and now into top five as Debris takes shot towards those shadow players. And don't forget, you are not invincible just because you are invisible. Bizzle and Demo learned that the hard way, getting eliminated in 16th as they pop the shadow bombs caused them to miss the trip. But now Pearl working from top down, picks up Prime Debris, doing his best, gives a good trade out there, Ooh. and then he sticks with it, picks up S2 Billy, and he get also mask, boxes buddy. himself in, confirms it. Come out, they're debating. Do they go Late game is the best in. part about the tourney. Ooh! Everyone's coming down with me. He downs debris, but debris trades it back. Storm gets the confirmation onto it. And now it's a 2v1. Right. He shadow to go bomb. for it. He shadow bombed down to the low ground. He goes for it. He tries to come out with a cheeky, sneaky shot. Doesn't quite connect. Trap comes down. Storm putting the pressure down. Can he connect? But he is not going to as Pearl and Storm walk away with the victory right there. And you know what? Bree did a great job still putting pressure up to Vet and Aiden. Two of the no stronger Aiden. Ghost players. Again, you can see them sitting there on 38 points, but let's not be kidding. If Ghost is in your name and you play for that org, generally you're pretty good at Fortnite. Pretty good at Fortnite they are as Sean takes out Wheelay straight out of the sky. That was a rift. And being here is actually an interesting place to be. Um, the Viking Island is so naturally high that when someone rifts, they're actually not that far off. So yeah. you potentially have to rotate back up. What does the reset look like after this zone closes? Yeah, true that because everyone used that launch pad to make it on across. You can see that there are still 20. If any of you guys play like the competitive like game, game launched off. Uh, a community launched straight off. Let me know. Eve picks up crank here, so this is going to be an extreme. And if you guys do run it, rotation that we're leading into zone six. Hit me up for up some storm here. wars.
Yeah. Heavy snipe I've been playing Storm Lord all the time, but it's usually late, late, late night if you guys want to like play. Is there turns in the box right away? Swaps so I'm always down for some late night Storm Lord. The combat guys, shotgun. Right? Will Aiden be able to confirm it? He does. Caminus goes down as we're now into the top 20 duos. Four more need to drop before that first round of placement points. This one to hit it as mm, the storm yep. ended up taking over. So he did not get a point Ooh, there. Oh boy, he double get combat. To land pairs Straight in his partner. Up. Just skeet shooting. Looking for a cheeky little 180 with that combat. He's still going he up. Didn't find it. It is still going up. And he challenges 74 on one, 843. Oh my. And he got oh my. Oh my. Good shot. CR, that was brilliant. Taking the high ground away. Unfortunately, Chicken is going to end up taking out there. Sean rotating way out of the zone here. There's a couple of players left here. Seven duos remain. Can he break that five duo threshold to get the next set of placement? Going for the thirst here to secure that Elam. Six duos remain. Sean needs to stay alive for just a little bit longer to edge his way to a couple of more points. And there it is. Darren gets the down onto wire as Tinoa then gets the confirmation onto Asian Greg. He's out of this lobby as Sean is going to try and just box up for a second. He's raining Meanwhile, hell CR from above. On that high ground, just raining shots, saying, I'm up here. You can't hit me back. Great Elin by Sean, and he gets oh my. Darren as well, but none of the max. So four max, 75 effective HP. Damn, so he's, four down, he hears it. Fun, he's looking for it now. He finds the shot. Shot one mm. comes oh. out, but CR 1002. CR brilliantly done to close that out clutching up that one up there monster that was actually a super unconventional way to take that battle too i think it was a heavy snipe into a combat double combat follow-up from that distance so nice job to recognize that he was trying to sit in the cone there but he does lose his teammate in the process he's knocked down so lucas is just crawling away here kind of staying close by though doesn't want to far off or get too far off from his duo and that was actually a big mistake he put oh, a ramp behind him on accident kind of puts him in the trap spot and no it's ronan we saw ronan go down a few times in these box battles unfortunately i feel like as that's tough when you're trying to like build a... definitely shifted to more double heal loadouts but build a ramp inside of your one by one you end up building over yourself. Right there. the long range tactical ar you can see it hits for 37 if you get a headshot. So then it's just like, well, either he's so going to try to push me. I have to stand this one by one, try to edit my way out. He's looking to trade back with a heavy snipe. Will he find something? No, it's the combat that comes out as he sends a couple shots to the air, but says, you know what? That's not my main priority and focus right now. I'm glad they changed it to where the um, slipstreams go off after. I think there. it's like the. He is just rotating straight the across fifth here. circle? One yeah, circle? Something like that? Picking up the Cosmic Crown and also Brian on. Because those really had an issue with the. Double edit doesn't with, quite with get the game, it. Rip like in game type stuff. And instead, Ooh, wow, good impulse. I, I would not have had the confidence <laughs> to stand him up and deserve anything to do that. And Yagi makes it look casual, catches himself by his it's tippy toes, up. turns Ooh. around, gets the combat, but he needs Ooh. to come to the rescue. He's of on him. He does getting a clutch knock there onto it, Jack, but can he confirm it? He needs to get the siphon off and push this other pressure over. Brilliantly done, and it puts him into the top 15. That crash, he ended up coming down. You can oh, see everyone shot. in that funnel as Foxy puts an end to Lucas Byers. Lucas had been on such a run, but was so low in effective HP. It was only a matter of time. Lord Boxy taking out the peasant there, getting in to the top 10 almost. And he does as Scrub goes down Thomas and gets his two points. Berserk in, I think it's Sage. I'm not positive. I feel like we've had this competition. Might be Savage <laughs> up on the high ground, but Boxy in the top right picks up bombs. Is going to get that siphon over here in a second. And there it goes. You have Symmetrical with some in the bottom right. Oh, we're almost over. The top we're almost done. Five. But Boxy is out Dude, of maps. Boxy's still, still going. Pick up and he gets 60 plus maps from that. Oh my monster. gosh, he got another one. It's Smoke Natch TTV who gets owned as he jumps down. Someone just made a quick edit right there. It might have been Son and Celeste. So one of these two. Symmetrical. Yeah, High ground. Oh, he got mid ground. Well. So that's People a duo that's still in the game. Berserk, Sage, or Savage right here. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm his But it's Boxy going against both of these oh. guys toe-to-toe -to -toe for the high ground. Looking to end their reign at the top. And Boxy manages to squeak away. He does have a launch pad as well. He puts uh, Sage in a really weird spot right now. Mm. Put everyone in a weird spot right now as all the dynamite goes off. The high ground is going to kill those guys below. below. And he does! He takes it over at the last second! It's a solo He's, game! Oh! And he fell! The fall came through and now it's just Boxy, but Boxy has nothing! He oh! He oh my did gosh. it! The fall damage came through and he got! It wasn't enough! Damn! That was big.
that was a clutch one. Voxy clipping the side. And that was Landon really clutch. Takes it home. You gotta love him. Voxy and Look Seagard. at that. The standing Just look at the madness. Like how I did the well, that's the end of that highlight. Um, if you guys enjoy the the whole Fortnite, uh, you know, World Cup highlight videos, let me know down in the comments below. They have a part two, so if you guys do enjoy, I'll react to part two. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I love y'all. Peace. I'm going to pull up in that new thing, feeling like I'm Bruce Wayne. Yeah, I get more money than your man. So, baby, hop up in my new thing, put you on some new things. Hopefully, your man, uh.